I think I took a shit in my neighbor's uh, lawn. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I love you, Matty Dean, and I need you, Matty Dean. Why did you leave me here without your love? Oh, bro, I'm hurting. good to have you man uh everyone listening we have a, a special guest so i will do an introduction uh we're here with doug key thank you and you just it. released your new special yes my Mother first of the special year, dude. I, yes. I keep saying new but it's my first one oh, ever really? yeah Shit. i say first because I, I hate saying the word debut mm. that sounds so pretentious that's you know? a pretentious word like man. especially in regards <laughs> to yourself like my yeah. anybody who says like my debut when talking about themselves, I'm like, get out of here. Yeah, if I heard you say debut, I'd probably walk away, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's tough to say. So my first special, uh, Mother of the Year, just came out on YouTube. It's on uh, it's on Mark Norman's YouTube. He's a buddy of mine. He's has way more followers than I do. Mm. My YouTube is pathetic, so he offered to put my special on his uh, thing. Yeah, I watched so, it. I mean, I jerked off to it. Oh, but, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate dude. it. Yeah, I that's a, what I wanted. I forgot to comment, dude, but I'll, I'll do that after this. <laughs> Please. You're really <laughs> fucking up the algorithm, man, by not commenting. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the right time, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait for that lull. You know, I mm. respect that. Wait for that plateau yeah. and then I'll, hit it with a comment. I want to start the tsunami, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some people are like, they leave, apparently you can leave money on YouTube. Like, if you like something, you could, like, s send a tip. Oh, wow. But it all goes to Mark. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> it was like, I'm like, hey, guys, my Venmo is in the <clears throat> caption. So yeah. if, if you like it, it's like a, It's hit like the chatterbait for, uh, yeah. for specials. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, he's, Mark's doing fine. Just, uh, I'll yeah, hit, just send it this way, Hit man. the cash app, hit the Venmo. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing that, you know, just like a send me money type thing. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Mm. You might get one or two people. <laughs> dude, Send the money. Buy, this guy's giving you content for yeah, free. This buy is free, like a right? Pedialyte light or something. Yeah, you this, know what I mean. People don't have to subscribe for this podcast. I mean, dude, if you put up an emotional Facebook post, you can probably get a few bucks for oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's people that start GoFundMe's for like because their daughter's bike got stolen. Yeah, you know, so, I've, I've even had crazier ideas, man. You yeah, know? like uh, starting my own construction company. <laughs> <laughs> What a wild idea to become an entrepreneur. Yeah. yeah. Just right out of the gate. And I'll, I'll just ask for like an initial deposit. Oh. And then I just won't show up. Oh, so you're talking <laughs> about you want to be a criminal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Like sit down with the family. Be like, what are we looking at? Like what type of renovations are you looking? Yeah. You know, and then just be like, listen, like I'm going to need. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, why are you wearing flip flops and there's no pencil in your ear? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's not. You can't say that's not a good idea. It's a good yeah. blue collar crime, I guess. Because like, dude, if you're, I mean, if you're struggling, man, like, yeah, I've never been to the point where I would do anything, like, but I'm getting pretty close. I mean, there, there's cons. Like, I, I, I consider myself a con man. Like, recently, I, uh, I ordered like a breakfast sandwich from Dunkin' Donuts, mm -hmm. and I don't like their cheese. I think it's fake and it's gross. <laughs> so I order no cheese on my breakfast yeah. sandwich. So all the time, and then one time I got they put cheese on it, and I was like. What the fuck? So I returned it, or I didn't, I didn't return it. I just they took my, the next day. I went and I had thrown that sandwich out, and I go, "Hey guys, uh, yesterday I ordered this breakfast sandwich, and you put cheese on it, uh, and I'm allergic to cheese, which isn't even a thing. I think it's just yeah. an intolerance to the lactose. Yeah. But I said I'm allergic to cheese, and they're like, "Oh, I'm so sorry," and they gave me a new sandwich for free. And then I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna just use that." So if I go yeah. to like a new city, I'll be like, oh, "I hate to." <laughs> hate to bother you but i had you guys put cheese on my sandwich the other day and uh i didn't want to say anything i was embarrassed yeah. and you know nine out of ten times you'll get a free breakfast sandwich it's genius man yeah with no people cheese. are people are scared of altercation man yeah you know i mean look at me dude like i could lay some wood you know what yeah. I yeah mean? just start throwing threats out there true yeah dude one time i was with a, I think i was with like two fatties uh -huh. Right after a, a party, so it was like the next day. <laughs> yeah, Two, when you mean fatties, are we talking about uh, obese people? I wouldn't say obese. It was like uh, man or woman. So it was me, my best friend, okay, and then two chubby chicks, okay. And it was the day after a party. <laughs> <laughs> two fatties. So we walk into Dunkin' Donuts. And we're living the dream, dude. Okay. And we're waiting in line, and this dude <laughs> comes in. <laughs> He's right behind us, and he screams at the top of his lungs. <laughs> he goes, 
He goes, let me get a fur burger. <laughs> a fur burger? Yeah. At a Dunkin'? <laughs> and so, like, me and my buddy were just, like, trying not to laugh. And he just kept screaming at <laughs> dude. And we were like, is this guy going to stop? And he cut the whole line. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Wow! Look, look the lady right in the eye. I was like, I want a fucking fur burger right now. And she had no idea what he was talking about. <laughs> yeah, she had no. She did. She pretended like he wasn't even there. Wow. I was like, damn. She deserved an Oscar for that performance, man. Because I was damn. like, damn. Yeah, wow. I, dude, I was crying, laughing. Wow. Maybe he wasn't there, and it was like a sixth sense situation. Yeah. He was a good. Yeah, you were maybe, the only one yeah. who could see him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, probably, dude. Like, you guys seeing this? Like, <laughs> who else is yelling? I want a fur burger right now. <laughs> that's only in your brain. Yeah, that's such a funny term, though. A fur burger. Yeah. Like from that moment on, I use that like almost I, every day. I can't even. Do we know what it is? I think it's just a hairy vagina. Oh, okay. I was, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. And I was like, wait a second. Is that an act? Did that phrase come from that? Okay. <laughs> just spe- speaking in another language, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like, I feel like if you do say it, like a lot of people are just going to be like either on board or like, I have no idea what this guy's. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's like the same thing with roast beef. I've been using that a lot. Yeah, roast beef. And a beef. lot of people are kind of like... I feel like that's more a more common one. I feel like roast beef curtains. That's a new one that I've just been... Really? I just kind of like, uh, you know... Roast beef. I mean, I yeah, I've come across a few roast beefs in my Yeah, they're day. so immature, man. I got to stop saying dude and roast beef. Those are like my <laughs> big goals for the year, dude. <laughs> I love how those are on the same playing field. <laughs> You're just you're just using roast beef like it's dude. <laughs> What's up, dude? Roast beef. Uh, yeah, I I feel like you could back away from roast beef, but yeah. dudes would be hard. Dude, that's is like so that's hard. like the mm. for a lot of people these days. Yeah, for a bro. Yeah, dude is because when you say dude, it's almost like hey, listen. Yeah, it's multi- I'm, he- I'm here for you. Right. You yeah. Know? Like I'm yeah. one of the boys. Yeah, dude. It's like it. it it's punctuated with like a sincerity almost like dude yeah it's almost you like know. saying gay yeah you don't even know it. you just kind of comes out right yeah you know? yeah i don't know i mean I, I like i grew up skateboarding and we're all dude and like when our friends were serious if like it would be like dude stop dude seriously that's when it be yeah, I, I feel like i kind of grew out of it in a sense where i'm like I don't know, I work with old I had a nursing home with old people during the day and you just have to remove it from your vocabulary you, you work at a nursing home? Yeah. Holy I'm a shit. therapist at a nursing home during the day. A little, That's right, little dude. peek behind the curtain. That's how I afford to live. Yeah. So you, what, uh, I saw that you got in whole, the whole therapy thing. So yeah. So I was like a little like, oh, is Doug like mature now? Like what's going on? Yeah. No. You know? So I still, when I started comedy, I, I was going to school for physical therapy when I was like start when I was doing open mics and stuff. Yeah. So I kind of started my therapy career where even I started my comedy career. So they're kind of like both parallel with each other. Mm. And, uh, you know, I, I obviously would love to just do comedy one day, but I, um, I was just working in nursing homes and like, it was good. I was during the day and then I could do shows at night, but yeah, I would, I would do exercises with old people. Okay. So it's like physical therapy. Yeah. Physical. But I, during the pandemic, I finished my master's and I got a degree in occupational therapy, mm-hmm. which is similar to PT, except occupational therapy, you're, you're rehabilitating like like their activities like you're helping these old people like put their socks on and shit and like go to the bathroom again Do you, you know what i mean you're like showing them how to shit yeah basically wow. like showing them how to not like showing them how to shit but like how to safely get to the bathroom how to like like there are some fat people that like can't like wipe their ass so you have to give them like adaptive <laughs> equipment they have you have to teach them how to use like a tool to wrap toilet paper around the, the thing Holy and shit. clean themselves with like a adaptive equipment it's like a, a third arm Kind of. It's like, you know, some old people have like a reacher if they drop mm-hmm. something on the ground. Yeah. This is like to f- clean it, to wipe your ass <laughs> with. It's a, br- I wish I invented it. I'd be yeah. a millionaire. Well, you what know? about uh, like a bidet? <clears throat> well, not everybody <laughs> can afford a bidet. <laughs> uh, I would love to have a bidet. Have you ever used a bidet? No. Well, once. We, yeah. We've talked about this, but <clears throat> oh. it was at St. Mark's Comedy Club. Oh, okay. It was more of just like a little, uh, little spritz. You know, wow, I, a comedy club that has a bidet. That's that's a nice that's, skill that's what we were club. saying, man. It's just uh, it's too good to be true. And I don't think it's a real bidet. I think it's, you yeah, know, that yeah. would be like comparing like a squirt gun to like a power washer. You oh, know what okay. I mean? yeah, like with one of those kids that thinks, you know, right, they're hot shit, but it's like, you know, yeah, well, at least it cleaned your asshole. Yeah, yeah, dude, you, you see like a lot of them like shit their pants. 
<laughs> I mean, I don't see it, but I can, I sense it. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can, you can definitely smell it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I usually just bring them back to the room and have the nurses deal with it. The nurses are the ones that do all the dirty work. Yeah. We just train them. Like the nurses are like, aren't you OT? Can't, don't you do toileting with this, with this patient? I'm like, yes, I train them on how to properly do it, but I don't clean them. Yeah. Do they ever shun your training abilities? Uh, I'm, I'm sure they probably do behind, yeah. behind closed doors, but talking shit. Yeah. Dude, nurses, they, I mean, I give them credit. They get, do get paid dog shit to do the worst fucking job. Really? Yeah. I mean, some of them are better than others. Some of them are yeah. fucking the worst, mm -hmm. but a lot of the nurses are very compassionate and yeah. and good clinicians. I heard like a lot of nurses are like fucking slots, man. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I mean, back in the day when I was dating, I, I dated a couple of nurses and, mm -hmm. uh, because they see so much shit, I think they're just like, they have less inhibitions yeah, you know, sexually. So I think they're like they just gotta let it out. They just let it out. They they'll do some stuff. Yeah, yeah, because they're just sure. like they've seen death right in its eyes. You think it would be a good idea to like chill outside of a hospital? <laughs> just wait. <laughs> nah, you might get a restraining order. I'll be honest. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> but uh, mm -hmm. hey, you could maybe maybe mm -hmm. you can just kind of trick one of them into yeah, that would be thinking a it's crazy. a serendipitous moment. Yeah, I used to deliver pizza, dude, in uh <clears throat> in college. And oh, really? every day, huh? You oh in college, okay. In college, yeah. Okay. I mean, this was like a week ago, but to <laughs> pretend like. But uh, dude, was that like uh, I lived over in Narragansett in Rhode Island? Yeah, Narragansett. Uh, <clears throat> dude, every day this like uh, elderly man, he would order the same pizza, and I worked the same shift every day, so I would just drive it out to him, and like I would talk to him every day. Oh wow! And he would tell me like the funniest shit. Yeah. You know, like he wasn't even trying to be funny, but he would just tell me, you know, Fuck, like he would what? tell me, he told me that when he farts, yeah, he doesn't know what's going to come out. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I feel like that's a problem that can happen at any age, but more, it's more prevalent in your golden yeah. years. I wonder what age that kind of like comes into play, though. Yeah. <clears throat> Probably when you st stop having control of your bowels. Like what age do you think, though, like... I think it's a nerve issue when you get older that that nerve starts to like not send signals to your brain to like contract your sphincter. So it just it just comes out. I think it's a mental thing. <laughs> I think it's a mental and physical thing combined, <laughs> you know, or maybe you just stop caring. Yeah, because I'm, I'm dealing with that right now, man. Really? You know, sometimes I'll sure? fart and I'll be like, dude, you don't know if it's. Yeah. Like if I let this rip, like anything could in happen. public or in the comfort of your own home, usually like in the backyard. <laughs> So specific. <laughs> so just in the... You should stop going to your backyard. Maybe yeah, just hang out in the front yard. I don't, I don't yard. shit inside. <laughs> One of my friends has a kid who uh, just shits outside. She lets him. Whoa. And uh, I was like... She, uh, she was showing me her backyard. I'm like, this is a beautiful backyard. And uh, I like I walk around the yard. I'm like, oh, there's a bunch of flies over around that tree over there. <laughs> and she's like, oh, yeah, my my son poops. But that's his poop tree. What? Yeah, it's just... And it's <clears> how just, old? He's like... Five, four, or five. Jeez. And I think it. I, Did you say something? It's or? like for, no. I was just like, that's yeah. hilarious. Like, I feel like at that, you just get, you just gotta be like, all right, it's cool. Yeah, I remember I pooped in the yard when I was a kid, right in the side of the house. I didn't even try to hide it. And my, I just remember my dad walking around the house, going, "What the fuck?" And he thought somebody, like a neighbor, it was so big. You know, kids like we have like really <laughs> loose buttholes, so like our shits are. Yeah. Like abnormally large for a Dude, child. I know what you're saying. Yeah. So he thought that like a neighbor was like <laughs> playing a pl prank or it was like some a grown animal. man shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I remember but, uh, I was playing checkers uh, with my sister when I was younger. Yeah, I had to be five or six. You remember those days where you would just chill in like a diaper and nothing else? Oh yeah, yeah. T shirt, <clears throat> diaper. Yeah. I remember. So I sh I shit, dude, in the shit. Flew out of the diaper, dude. Flew out, like not just, it just oozed creeped out. out. I, oh, okay. I didn't see it, you know. Yeah, but yeah. I, I saw it on the floor. Wow. Yeah, and I, from that moment on, I always thought that I shit through the diaper. Like I thought I put a hole in the diaper. Oh wow. And that's what I was telling the boys. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But you, even, you were bragging about. Yeah. But then I just realized I was wearing like I guess I was just wearing like small diapers. Yeah. I should. My dad one time was uh, Santa for Christmas. And I sat on his lap. I didn't know it was my dad, and uh, and I did. I pulled. I did the beard pull. Yeah. And then I saw that it was my dad, and I shit on his lap. 
what? Yeah, and he he'll never let me live. He's a hey. Remember when you uh, <laughs> you sat in Santa's lap and you shit your pants? Yeah, I was like six. I was probably, I was like older than I should have been. <laughs> you you remember it vividly? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Like uh, I can remember certain things from that age. I mean, I'm sure. What's your earliest happened. memory? Would you say? I would say like five. Like from Honestly, start man, to finish. I'm not even saying this to be funny, dude. <clears throat> I I took a shit in my neighbor's <laughs> lawn. <laughs> It always comes back to the shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, re- I remember this vividly. I took a shit in my neighbor's lawn yeah. when 9-11 was happening. Wow. <laughs> like, dude. Well, wait, which, I'm not making this up. Like, but be- Between the towers or? Yeah. <laughs> like, you di- it's, it's crazy that you say that, man. Because <laughs> I was living, we were living, we were renting like a, it was like a townhouse in wow. Smithfield, Rhode Island. So you had like one house that was connected to the other house. Yeah. It might have been like a four unit. I don't even know. And uh, so like my neighbor lived right next to us. Same yard. Shared the same yard. Yeah. And I was wearing underwear for the first time. (laughs) And I just walked over into his yard like shit everywhere. So everybody could see it. Yeah. And they could see through the window. (laughs) You're like gladiator. You're like, are you not entertained? (laughs) Yeah. And 9-11 was legitimately happening. Wow. Yeah. It was wild. I remember everyone crying, and I was like, "Listen, guys, like it won't happen again." And they were like, "No, no, no!" Like, wow, that was an outside job. Yeah, dude. Maybe that's you know, damn. Maybe that's a sign. I guess so. Yeah. Well, that's where you were. Yeah, I was in art class during nine eleven. Did they like? They let you go home? Not, not initially. No, they just wheeled the TV in and played played it on the news. I was a freshman what? in high school. Yeah, they wheeled a TV in. They, like you know, substitute teachers will like bring yeah. a TV. In I feel or like they wouldn't want kids to see that type of stuff though. I, well, exactly. But I think the teachers wanted to see it, so they were just like, "We're you guys are watching yeah. this." You know, they didn't have smartphones back then. Yeah, exactly. And then they sent us home early with like a letter. They they gave us all a letter to you know take with us to, to say why they let us home early, as if you know. Yeah, they were gonna be like, "Why are you home early?" It's like, "Oh, there's yeah. a terrorist, impending terrorist attack that could yeah. happen anywhere." It'll be crazy to fathom something like that at, at that young of an age. I know. You know. Yeah. It, it is kind of funny though when you combine shitting in someone's yard with nine eleven though. It is. You know. It is. <clears throat> it's not really like something you would say on like a first date. Yeah. Well, you'll never forget. Yeah. You know? Never forget. Dude. You'll never forget that. <laughs> <laughs> you had two. You had two towers fall out of your ass. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, four, four towers fell that day, dude. Four towers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. But, dude, you're, uh, did you already move back to Mass? I moved back, yeah. Yeah, I'm having a kid in uh, next month, so we decided to move back home to be closer to family. And um, But I still come back to the city a lot to do shows and pods and stuff. So, um, yeah, but I, you know, it's only three hours away, you know. you. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, that's a good idea, man. I can't even imagine raising a kid here. Yeah, I mean, this neighborhood that you're in is, is real nice, but uh, like where, where we were in Brooklyn, it was like it was so far away from everything. We had no support. So, um, yeah, we decided just to move back. But who knows? I might come back in the future. Yeah. It's so easy to just like travel here, too. Yeah, I mean, I have a car, but even if like I before I had a car, I would take like a, you know, a Peter Pan bus or mega bus or whatever. That's, was a, like, that's a journey, man. Yeah, <clears throat> it was. Pan bus. It was longer. It was the cheapest travel, but um, but yeah, man, I I, I definitely like having a car, having the freedom of yeah doing the road and stuff. That's that's what got me a lot of gigs when I first moved to the city. Is like a lot of the the guys that were headlining like don't have cars in the city. So yeah, I've been used a few times for my car. Yeah, which of I'm course. fine with. No, you I'm take like, it. Hey, listen, dude, I got a Honda Accord. Like, if it's you want to use me, like, it's fine. It's a few you know? bucks in your pocket, and you get a gig out of it get some new fans and um and you know nine out of ten times i'll throw you an extra 20 for gas or whatever it is yeah you know but uh yeah man yeah, having mean, a car is legit man especially like a honda accord you know what i mean yeah what type of car are you driving right now mazda mazda, mazda cx5 oh shit yeah it's japanese cars are stick. good we're like no i can't drive stick yeah so you're no. just going like fucking 80 on the highway automatic Pretty much, yeah. Is that not good? I don't know. I, I know nothing about cars. That's like uh, yeah, I me mean neither. But I know nothing. But I, I do. Yeah. I mean, it's a smooth ride. So you, what's yeah. it called? Velocitizing when you're going fat. You're like, oh fuck, I'm going ninety. But it's like, it, yeah. it's not. You don't get any speed wobble or anything. Yeah, you don't even notice. No, no. Yeah, it's crazy because if you hit something going ninety, like you're just, you're done. Dude. No, you're done. And now yeah. that I have a kid on the way, I'm like trying to like 
practice driving slow and more safely. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, because you have to. Yeah, that's got to be crazy, man, just knowing that you have a kid on the way. It's a weird <clears throat> Have you been feeling. talking about it a lot, or you kind of just, like, don't want to talk about it? I'm talking about, about it. It. No, I'm talking about it just to, like, mentally prepare. I think that's the benefit of, like, her being pregnant for nine months or ten months or however long they're pregnant for, um, is that, like, you can mentally and financially prepare for it, you know? But it, the closer it gets, it's, like, gets more and more wild being, like, oh, shit. Now it's, like, <clears throat> there's a timer. It's, like... Yeah. The clock is ticking. Well, I feel like it's got to be like uh, Navy SEAL training. Like, no matter how hard you prepare, like, once it happens, you're like, fuck, dude. You can't. And that's what kind of, like, I find solace in the fact that, like, once the baby's here, like, I'm just going to, like, my fight or flight instincts are just going to take over. And, like, you're just going to have to do whatever it takes to keep this kid alive. Like, people are like, oh, you're not going to be able to sleep. It's going to be waking you up. And it's like, yeah, but you're not going to mind doing that if it's your yeah. child. Do you have a lot of boys that have kids? I do. I have a few. Yeah, like a lot of my childhood friends have kids and, uh, you know, a lot of them had kids early on. And it, that's when I was like, oh, I do want one of these because it's like, oh, shit, you look just like my friend. Like, I want a little custom person, you know. But at the time I was like, I was pursuing comedy. And I'm like, I knew that that's not that's going to, you know, really yeah, no impede way, yeah. the pursuit <clears throat> here. So I uh, I put it off and then my girl and I got pregnant. And we're like, eh, let's fucking do it. Let's fucking shred it. Dude. I'm getting older. Yeah, yeah. You got to reach a certain point, man. Where it's like, <clears throat> that's got to be so hard, though. Yeah, I remember. Like, uh, I think what brings me peace about thinking about it <clears throat> is just like knowing how retarded men are. Yeah, you know, like that never changes. No, like you can no. hide it a little bit, but right. No, it's still it's primitive. It's yeah. up there. You know. Yeah, like We're, people think like, oh, you have kids, you got to be like mature all the time. It's like no, you just got to like hide it a little better. Yeah, you have to modify a few things and you have yeah, you have to kind of incorporate <laughs> values and morals into into day to day life. Yeah. You're you already know? you're already fucking practicing, dude. Like you know what to say. Yeah. 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 I mean I, I do I always envisioned having a child, but just like when it's actually on the way, you're like, Oh fuck, I do have to like get in dad mode and like, you know, be a good person <clears throat> now. That's dude, that's <laughs> what <clears throat> I'm kinda stuck on, like I mean, dude, I look like I eat crayons, so I'm not having a kid anytime soon. But like, <laughs> well, the good thing is kids eat crayons too. So yeah. my father, well, that's what I daughter. think I would be too much like a kid. Oh yeah, and I wouldn't be able to like discipline him or her. Yeah, because you got to be able to be. Stop like, eating all my fucking crayons. <laughs> Those are mine. I have like three crayons in my mouth. I'm like, yeah. give me my fucking respect. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> like I feel like you just got to turn that switch sometimes, dude. And yeah. Just like, be serious and like, yeah. that's got to be tough. You know, it is. I mean, I feel like it's you don't have to be serious. I, I feel like you want to be a kid. And that's I think the benefit of having one is you can kind of live vicariously through them and you kind of get a pass on being a little bit immature because you're like you're on the ground playing with action figures. And like I remember my uh, my little sister, she's 15 years younger than me. So I was, I was 15 when she was born. And I would like she loved these baby Einstein videos where she, they would just be like, you know, uh, Beethoven music or Mozart music playing and there's like train like choo choo trains going and then my yeah. sister would fall asleep and I would just be like just <laughs> like glued to the TV like this is fucking riveting yeah. like I wish I was on mushrooms watching this you think you're autistic I probably <laughs> it's a spectrum for a reason Johnny because <laughs> yeah. I know uh, yeah trains are a big thing yeah I mean oh, I'm, yeah. I'm probably autistic dude nowadays you like, gotta be yeah for sure dude <laughs> <laughs> like this no no with no disrespect yeah, yeah, yeah. No. you don't need to be a doctor to uh you know yeah give that prognosis yeah i don't think there's any sort of diagnostic criteria that's like matter of fact i think it's a lot of it's subjective too yeah i mean so, if you're screaming vagina in open fields like yeah so yeah you know, yeah it's you a have, spectrum dude you know what i mean yeah that's true i was gonna say you have good eye contact so i feel like you're yeah. not you're you're not uh on the I mean, you're easy to look at, dude, but some people, <laughs> it's, you ever look at someone and you're like, I just can't do it, dude. Yeah, I know. Actually, my girl, she's like, sometimes she'll look at me like so deeply and I'll like look away and she's like, are you, you have a problem with eye contact? And I'm like, no, I just wasn't ready for like, you're not always ready for like a deep, sincere moment yeah. with your, with your partner. You know what you I know mean? what helps, man, is if you just aggressively look at someone in the eyes yeah. for like 10 or 15 seconds, That's then you kind of just, yeah, you just like get through the uncomfortable part yeah. and then you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard not to try to stare at you while we were doing <laughs> yeah no i know it's it's tough i yeah. did work with um autistic kids for a little while and they're 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 brilliant in like certain ways like that this one kid he's like obsessed with uh the presidents yeah and uh 
he calls himself uh, Jimmy Carter. He's like, you have to call me Jimmy Carter. That's his oh, favorite wow. president. What would happen if you didn't call him that? I, I made it sound like it was an <laughs> ultimatum. <laughs> like it was an or else thing. It wasn't. It was just you'd say his name and he'd be like, that's not my name. It's Jimmy Carter. Okay. All right. Yeah. But he would like, uh, he could like <laughs> recite all the presidents front to back. It was pretty wild. And he was like seven years old. Yeah. I, can, I don't know the, f- I know maybe the first three presidents. Did he know anything about them or just? Um, I think he did know some facts. I think he knew like the term, like how many terms they served. Um, I don't think he knew like their vice presidents or anything like that, but. Yeah. My mom is like, she's turning 70 next year. She's always watching like her shows and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> and they always have like these autistic kids come on the news with like special talents. It's yeah. fucking wicked entertaining, dude. Yeah. It's like. They know all the capitals. It's like Nat Geo or... for autistic kids. It's crazy, man. Wow. They had this one kid come on, and he was, uh, he knew the whole pie formula. Wow. I and didn't he know was that. just spewing out numbers, dude. Like, I thought my fucking brain was going to blow off, dude. Yeah. You know? I mean, whatever is in their DNA has got to be something that's like, un- it's unlocking a different chamber of the brain that we don't have enough research about. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you know? Like, we didn't look, we didn't start real, like, Really looking into these kids <laughs> until now, you know. It is wild. Like Before back we, in the day, they were kind of just wandering around. You didn't even yeah, know. Yeah, they're wandering you know? around. They put I think in, down south, are they still killing mentally challenged kids? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But I, I knew Hitler did that. Uh, who? There was a fu- super funny cop. What's his name? He, he opened for Stan Hope. Uh, Junior Stopka. Do you know who that is? Very funny bit. Do you know the bit I'm talking about? I thought you were, were going to say Junior Seo. No, no, no. I was He's like, damn, dude. Yeah, no, that's a deep cut. R.I.P., dude. Yeah, R.I.P. Uh, <laughs> pour one out. Um, no, Junior Seo. He has a really funny bit about like, <laughs> like you know how I know there was no uh, special needs kids in the Holocaust. He's like, cause they would they'd be smiling in the pictures. I thought that was. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that's so dark on like different levels, but funny. <laughs> Oh, that's, uh, that's a good bit. Yeah, it's great. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, dude. I know, I know people who live in Texas. Like they're from there, and they're like, yeah. Like if you mention it, they'll just laugh their ass off, and it's yeah. like, all right, like, <laughs> is it, <laughs> is it happening? You know? Yeah. I've heard stories about people who live in Florida, and uh, they they were in class. They're like ESL. Okay. And they they had mentally challenged people in their class, and they killed them. <laughs> no, dude. No, I, I just mean was, like I just oh, mean sorry, like I in Florida we were... they thought that like speaking Spanish meant you were mentally challenged. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's wild. Yeah, that's gotta be wild, dude. Being a, a span like a, <clears throat> a fluent Spanish speaker. Yeah. Because you, you couldn't like, speak English that you were a little slow yeah, to learn. Like you're the not language. one of us. You haven't assimilated yeah. in a timely fashion. Mm. Wow. That's kind of funny though. That just is. to like jump right to that. Be yeah. Like, no, you're not. Which is ironic because that person that jumps to that conclusion is probably more of the cha- mentally challenged. Yeah, they though. probably came here on a fucking <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Door. Yeah. True. <clears throat> yeah, man. Yeah, no, I definitely we had a we had a you know special needs classes as most high schools <laughs> did, and uh, I always was curious as to what they were doing in there. You know, I was always like, oh, they're they're having like their own little yeah recess. They never let you in there. No, no. It, it would let us in sometimes. Just to, just to see what's going on. See, like, <laughs> just, just watch. <laughs> just watch and learn. It's like a zoo. No. Yeah. They would be like, <clears throat> when I was in elementary school, they would be like, all right, you can go down the hall and you go hang out with the kids. Okay. Because I think they were just like, it was just all day recess for them, dude. You know, mm-hmm. they're just like kicking, you know, those big medicine balls. Yeah. They're just kicking those like full speed. Well, a lot of it's like social skills too. So it's like they'll they'll probably try to like incorporate social scenarios like um like social reenacting you know like hey go ask that person for a pencil yeah you know just so they can like have life skills for for job yeah. skills later in life i think that was the school for them yeah you know it's like yeah go go talk about the weather to this other kid yeah after you kick this medicine ball at his face yeah 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 <laughs> and then quickly put this weighted blanket on yeah, yeah, to calm Dude, you that's, down. <clears throat> that's how you learn, man. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I'm surprised I didn't get put in like a special needs class when I was younger. Yeah, are you, you like know? low key smart with like certain subjects? Would you say that you're like excelling? I mean, tits. 
Yeah. Yeah. So anatomy science. Mm -hmm. All right. Specifically tits, though. Yeah. Yeah. Female anatomy. (laughs) You're a feminist. Female studies. Dude, that would be that would be sick to say during like uh, an anatomy class. Yeah, it would be. Just saying, like you specialize in tits. Yeah, tit specialist. When dude, when I was in elementary school, we used to. What I used to love to do was one Mm -hmm. yell vagina as the recess doors were opening. That's a good one. During a dead sprint. Yeah. I would just yell it as loud as I could. Were you at the front of the line? Depends on the day. (laughs) So sometimes you have to yell vagina and then just break through the kids and run outside. I always try to make it to the front. But but other times you were I wanted my voice to be heard. You were William Wallace out there. Yeah. Leading the pack. Yeah. Dude, one thing, though, that goes unmentioned is uh, every day at recess, they had, like, basketballs. Yeah. And instead of playing basketball on the blacktop, it was just me and a bunch of other kids, and we would just kick the basketballs in the air as high as we could. Yeah. And they would just, <laughs> they would just level people. Oh, and yeah. that's what we did. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't do anything. Like we'd, um, we'd play tennis, and then we would just have, like, home run derbies with the tennis balls over the fence. Oh, shit. Yeah. So gym- On a baseball field? No, in the tennis court, we would just hit, like, literally just fucking throw these fucking tennis balls over the fence Dude, into the woods. tennis is kind of, like, fun. It is. Are you playing or no? No, no. I can't play. T- I have I have asthma. I can't. I, I don't do anything that involves a lot of... You have uh, asthma? Dude, you look like you're on fucking TRT, dude. It's all an illusion. Really? Yeah. No, I, I lift weights to create the illusion that I'm in shape, but I have no, like, oh, cardio yeah. endurance. I, like, I don't run. I like, don't, your heart health is shit? Yeah, I like. I feel like my heart health is good. I just don't like like sustained activities. Like, uh, like I could never play like soccer or basketball because it's like constantly moving. Like I played baseball because it was, you know, you were a baseball player. I was yeah, I was first baseman, so I just li- literally stayed there and caught the ball. You just playing with your nuts, scooping shit. Yeah, yeah, That's alligators. Life, man. Yeah, and then I got into skateboarding. I quit once I got into high school because I was like on a ma- like a um, all star team like in little league. Mm. Um, and then once I get to high school level, they were like. I was like, these fucking pitches are too fast. I was like a kind of a smaller kid. I was like just so terrified of getting pegged by the ball. This so, was in Rhode Island? Yeah. So yeah. I started skating and like I, then I was like, this is it. I'm going to be a pro skater. That's my dream. And uh, yeah, I started just fucking myself up, throwing myself downstairs and <clears throat> re- doing handrails and shit. And just, just I broke so many bones. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking sick, man. Yeah. I still, fu- I don't do it as aggressively anymore. I still fuck around like. You know, that's why I'm excited. I like to have a kid, whether it's a boy or girl. I'm like, I can't wait for that moment where I can like just put them on a skateboard and like, you know, do that yeah. again. Do you ever get scared that like maybe that might not be an option? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Uh, the good news is the sonogram shows that it's got two legs. So, yeah. but whether or not they can control those legs Dude. is a different story. So, what if what if your kid is mentally challenged? I've thought about it, and. Uh, I think having some experience working with, with, uh, mentally challenged kids, I feel like I have some ba- like background on it and, um, it won't be as like devastating, but it would be not ideal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say it. I mean, nobody, nobody's rooting yeah. for that, you know? Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't like drop them off in a field and just dip. <laughs> no, I don't think I would drop them <laughs> off in a field. I think I would love them a little less, but, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I, uh, no, I, yeah, I, it's something that every parent probably thinks about. Yeah. You know, but you don't know. Yeah. I wonder if that would be fun, man. Yeah. Just like fucking around with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, totally. I mean, I feel like, you know, it's like a a kid that you can have forever. Yeah. It's like whenever you're upset, just bring him in public. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah. Dude. I've been, I've been doing shit that I used to do. Like, why is it so gay to do shit that you used to do? Like what? Like play like Pokemon cards? if you were cards? skateboarding, people would be like, oh, what are you, gay? Yeah, that's like, true. why is that? Well, I, I mean, I don't know what it is. I think maybe not like, what are you, gay? I think maybe like grow up, like, yeah. you know, such a child or something like that. You might get that perception, like grow up, but uh, yeah, my grandpa, I remember before he died, I would still, like, I was like in my 20s and... I would like skate to his house because I lived like not too far and uh, I'd bring my board in and he would look at me and he'd just be like, yeah, still doing that, huh? And I'm like, 
what physical activity like yeah. this takes a skill yeah. to, to do it. and then he you know fell and broke his arm and then got pneumonia in the hospital and died i'm like well if you were skateboarding yeah you wouldn't have happened you wouldn't have fallen yeah your balance would have been yeah, better. yeah yeah or you know but uh just the way I, life works man i don't know what it is i feel like i mean you got a lot of comic book stuff or super like i feel like people that have like you say comic book stuff superman is that uh, a comic book yeah yeah what else you got those are just bands no those are just bands yeah yeah but like anything could be perceived as childish yeah you know what i mean any like anything could I mean, dude, I, I went out into a field two days ago running around with my dog, man. Yeah, and did you I shit just, in the field? Yeah, but <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but, dude, that I got this sensational feeling. Yeah. It was wild, man. Of just being out, like an outdoorsman? It was or just, just like a, a feeling running? of like, oh, I could, I can still do this. Like, this is still fun. Oh, yeah. You like, know? you were running with the dog. Yeah, like, you know, we're running together, dude. <laughs> I look back into his eyes. You know, yeah. we're both having a good time. Why do birds <laughs> suddenly appear? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I love those. Those like little moments of uh, moments of joy. That's what I. Yeah. I don't know if it's like euphoria or like what it is, but. Yeah. You're like a little hard, but you're like. Yeah. You know. Well, it's like that uh, oxytocin. It's like your brain secretes these hormones when you're like have like these moments of like attachment to another living thing, like a baby or a dog or whatever it is. And I feel like that's that builds that bond between. A parent, a child, or a pet, and a owner. It's an autistic man and his pet, dude. Yeah, that's good. Fuck. Well, I think you're ready to be a dad then. <clears throat> no, I don't think so, man. No. I kind of, dude. I've been thinking like depressing thoughts. Like sometimes I wish I died when I was like 18. I think that's common. Yeah. I mean, not like, not to know. have a specific age <laughs> attached to it, but 18, 21. <laughs> yeah. You know? The coming of age, death. Yeah, that would have been sick, man. Just to yeah. go out like that. Yeah. But then what do you what do you think like I mean you like you've done a lot of cool stuff since then. Then did you ever regret being like, "Ah, eh, let's push it to 30." Mm. I don't even know how old you are, but 27. Oh, nice. Yeah. You got a few years left. Dude, you know what's crazy, man? I can't believe I haven't even brought this up yet. What? I've known you for 6 years. Yeah, barely. <clears throat> but Dude, do you remember the first time we met? I remember doing a show with you at the casino, right? Yeah. Was that the first time? Yeah. I'm surprised you remember even that. I, I don't remember what kind of show. Was it a contest? Dude, so we're at Mohegan Sun. Yeah. And we're in the green room. I go into the back to take a shit. And I just murder the bathroom, like yeah. blow it up. Right. And then I'm walking out of the bathroom as you're walking in. <laughs> and I go, yo, dude, I just blew that shit up. And you go, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> and I was, dude, I was devastated. I was like, dude, because I was like 20. Yeah. You know, I mean, maybe I just, uh, <laughs> I think I might have a hearing problem. <laughs> I was like, that was one of the moments in my life where I was like, am I retarded? Like, what did, you know? Because no. what I said. I don't think I said that with any sort of snark or like, why was this kid telling me that he's pulled <laughs> the bathroom? I think I probably genuinely heard like, hey, what's up? How are you? Yeah. And then I just responded like in autopilot. <laughs> so. And then you just went into the bathroom and you were like, dude. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. I don't know. I have a skinny nose. I can't smell shit. Yeah. But, but I, uh, I've. I'll remember that for the rest of my life. Dude. Well, I hope we can clear the air now. Yeah. Unlike the air so, in the man. bathroom that yeah. you left for me. But yeah, I've thought about that since yeah. since it happened. No, no, I, I didn't even notice you said that. So it wasn't in any negative tone at all. <laughs> or just imagine being like a 20 year old. You yeah. barely know what you're doing. You know, you see yeah. like a. I did remember that you had uh, shorts, like basketball shorts on. Probably, yeah. Yeah. It's probably like not wearing underwear. Yeah. I think I I think I was judging a contest. I remember, and um, I think I, I remember this because I got a laugh. I was like, I was like, you kind of look like a like a Duke lacrosse player that got accused of sexual misconduct. You said that to me. I think so. I don't know. No way. I, I, I would have fought you, dude. I think I <laughs> wasn't there. A, I think there was like a table on the stage, and like they asked me to judge this comics contest or something like that. Yeah, I did that, but it was. <clears throat> When I did it, it was uh, yeah. I knew who the judges were. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that that was your bit, right? Was what? that your bit? I don't know. 
Duke lacrosse. Yeah, did you say anything about Duke lac- lacrosse? No, or maybe my that boys, was... dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I back then I was talking about like jacking off to the Titanic and like yeah stuff like that. Well, that's hot. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the, wait, the Titanic like sinking or the Titanic like in its I all glory? I used to have glory. a joke where I would be like. Uh, people always judge me on my hobbies. My only hobby is jacking off to the Titanic. And it would just bomb. Yeah. You know. But in my head, I was like, this has this has legs. Yeah. You know. I just have so many questions. I'm like, is it a diagram of the Titanic? Like a blueprint? Mm-hmm. Or is it like the movie, the Titanic? Or it was the, it was the movie. Okay. Or the wreckage. Okay. It's crazy how the Titanic, the movie is actually just called Titanic. Yeah. As opposed to? The Titanic. I think they wanted to trim the fat. <laughs> Just get right to the... They're like, we're paying for these letters. Get like, right to the meat and potato. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's but crazy. But just the irony of, like, spanking to a movie like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Kate Winslet's tits were in it. And you're, is that what her name is? You're a tit is? guy. Kate Winslet, the she's actress. She's still alive? Yeah, she wasn't that old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dame oh, Judi Dench about, is still I'm alive. I'm thinking about the, the woman, <clears throat> like the old lady who tells the story. Kathy Bates. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. No, she's probably dead. Really? Yeah, yeah. In fictionally like and in real life. Fuck, man. Yeah, sorry. When in the movie, was that actually her? <laughs> <laughs> I think you should hold off on having kids a little bit longer. <laughs> Just a little. Is that who, what you're jacking off to is when she died <clears throat> warmly in her bed at the end of the movie? I mean, I would. Yeah. Wait, they show that? I think they. Sh- it's insinuated. Because they show the that old lady. Yeah, and then like... Jack in the movies is like, Rose, you're going to go on to like, the fact that I remember this line is sad, but like, you're going to go on to have an old, be an old lady and have a ton of kids and die cozily in your bed or whatever. And then at the end of the movie, the, you know, the the thing is that she actually dies warmly in her bed. Yeah. And I can just picture a, a young Johnny Salami that. just jerking off to that part. 20 year old Johnny Salami jerking off to that. Yeah. Damn. That, that would mean, be a fun uh, reaction video to watch. Yeah, putting that up on TikTok. Yeah, just a three-hour YouTube viral video of you watching of that. Titanic. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mind that at all. Yeah. Going viral over that video. Oh, yeah, it's content. Yeah. That's and crazy, man. You can put up one video mm-hmm. and just sell out in Applebee's, man. You yeah. Know I mean? No, it's crazy. I do know. I do notice that, like a lot of these comedy clubs booking a lot of like TikTok stars and stuff and and that's great cuz they're like they're giving them like the Wednesday nights not like a full weekend so they're like oh, all right. right yeah you're you know you got a million followers on TikTok or whatever so come to the this comedy club and sell out on a Wednesday and they might do that mm-hmm. <clears throat> but if they're not like a seasoned comic they can't do an hour of like sustained funny material then a so, lot of those people might not come back and see them in the future so it's kind of like the kiss of death, I think, to like really pop off too early. Someone was telling me like at the connection in Rhode Island, like yeah. they were booking like some TikTok stars. That's, yeah, that's what I'm and saying. And they would bomb so bad that they would have to like bring other people on. It's yeah, it's not great. Like, um, but as a business owner, you're like, all right, you know, it's a Wednesday, we're usually closed. Let's get this kid who, you know, reviews dish soap on TikTok to come out and mm-hmm. you know, sell the room or whatever. Yeah. And uh they do it, but it's not like an act, you know. They're like, do the do the dish soap thing. You know, they can't. Yeah. That's not 45 minutes worth of material. That's like a bit. That's kind of sad, man. I know. So, you know, you might sell out a club in one night, but those same people that came out aren't coming back to see you the next year. They're going to be like, yeah. that was disappointing. Do you give a fuck at all or no? You're, you're no, dedicated I'm not, to the craft. Like, I, I'm, I like that, like, I haven't peaked yet because mm-hmm. I feel like there's so much pressure to, like, maintain that. You know what I mean? Like, once you're at a level where you're like selling out theaters consistently, like you have to keep doing that for a while, at least for a long time. So you don't feel like you had this flash in the pan career and then just tanked. Yeah. You've done theaters though. Like big, I mean, I've opened for, I've opened for people uh, who are at that level and, um, and that's great. And I'm like so happy to see this like upward trajectory of my friends doing well but like I'm kind of I find solace in the fact that like I'm not quite there yet, so I still have like time to mm. to um to peak per se, and it's like yeah. you know you, maybe you want to do that a little bit later. So it's like the downward slope is like mm. when you're 
your kids are getting older, you're retiring, yeah. you're doing this. So it's like that's a natural course of action, I feel like, in your yeah. life, as opposed to like peaking when you're a 21-year-old TikTok star. And then, I feel like the peak has to come at the right time, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> it's almost yeah. like jerking off too quick. Yeah. Like the longer you wait, right, the better it's going to be. <laughs> edging. I think you're describing edging, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Don't get that confused with uh, the yard work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hedging. I think they call it... <laughs> I do both at the same time. You can uh, you can edge like a, a bush, though, right? <laughs> you can edge a hedge. Is it, I think so. Yes. Yeah. You can edge. Can you edge a hedge? Only one way to find out. You just kind of like tickle the, the yeah, roots a little bit. Someone's daughter's like riding their bike by, like asking you what's up. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm just edging. Yeah. Just, just see what happens, man. Yeah. I drive with my car on empty a lot. Before I find a gas station, I feel like that's edging your car oh, yeah. while driving. You know, you you get that like tingling sensation. Yeah, you're like I could break down at any moment. Oh fuck, man! Yeah. I never even thought about, it. dude. Yeah. I urinated on the highway last night. I peed coming here while driving. While driving, your I car just, was moving. My car was moving, and I was in traffic, which is even scarier because it's stop and go. Yeah, and I I pull my pants down like to my knees, and I have a um, I pee in like a core water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Not to brag, it's got a girth of your mouth piece yeah. on it. I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm a little bit yeah. better than a Poland spring, so I use a core, and I just put it down there. Put the I drape like a sweater over it, and I peed. Wow, you got yeah. prepared. Yeah, I mean, I hate to say it, man. I pissed in a Gatorade Zero, so I'm not like on your level, but no, no, get no, that's the same thickness of a. It's not, dude. It's not a Gatorade no, Zero. Cores, bro. The fucking... a core water. Yeah, it's probably the same mouthpiece. I don't know. Should we compare water? Compare bottles? <laughs> that's all. That's the the first thing I thought about when you said it. I was like, "What type of water bottle?" We I feel like that's what everyone's thinking. You know, like what water bottle did you piss? Yeah, in? yeah. No, it's not a ninety nine cent Poland Spring. It was a three forty nine. I was on the highway, dude, and I was like, "I'm legit about to piss my pants." I just pulled my pants down, dude, and I fucking just let it rip, dude. And yeah. It was it was wild, man. Wow. It was the first time. So I was like, whoa. So you peed on the side of the highway? No, I was I was in the car moving. Oh, oh, oh. That's yeah, right. it was like bumper to bumper <clears throat> traffic, so it was already yeah. like stressful enough. You ever uh you ever bang on the side of the highway? Um not on the side of the highway, but um in in nature. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. Yeah. The uh, the side of the highway is <laughs> I just like the fact that you're like, all right, nature, <laughs> side of the highway, nature, same thing. Nature is is very closely adjacent to the side of the highway, so you are correct. So you're not far off. Um, but I mean like on the road, like in the breakdown lane. In the no. breakdown lane? Yeah, like in the breakdown lane. People? Like you pull over. Yeah, well, nobody, like if you, see, <laughs> if you see a broke down car or like a car pulled over in the breakdown lane, yeah. you don't really think anything of it. You just drive I'm right I'm thinking by. about like a truck stop. No, no, You're this just is facing like facing oncoming cars. Well, no, I'm not <laughs> oncoming traffic. Yeah. I'm not crossing the median. I'm in the same side yeah. in the breakdown lane. And uh yeah, you just it's fun. You just Oh, go. so you're in the car, you're not <laughs> Well, no, you can be outside. I've done it both. I've done inside the car and outside. What you do is you pull over to the breakdown lane, yeah. you go around to the front seat, you bend her over the front and passenger side with the door with the with the rear door open so nobody can see it coming down the highway. And uh usually at, at night. So you have mm. the hazards on, and then if anybody drives by, they don't think you don't you just see a car broken there. You don't like you're not like what's going on there, you yeah. know. And uh, if a cop pulls up, <laughs> you just pretend like she's vomiting or something. You know, you're like, oh, she got she got car sick. Yeah. And then you pull your pants up right away. Nobody's That's, gonna arrest you for that. I've never even heard of that, man. That's wild. Yeah, no, it's fun. It's just like, dude, like, if a cop's, I mean, dude, if you're a fucking balls deep in a chick mm -hmm. and a cop in like a Dodge Charger, fucking <laughs> speed. Well, that's up. the thing. When you're, fu you're, fu so she's <laughs> bent over into the passenger side and you're vigilant. You're out. You got your head on a swivel. Oh, you're, yeah. yeah, you're looking. You're looking at the cars coming down the road. So you got. Yeah. You're doing some re <laughs> some uh, surveillance. Yeah, you're thinking about nine eleven too. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. You're thinking about everything. You know. You're looking every which way. So you know. You're ready for that <laughs> cop to come by. You're prepared. You have your <laughs> script ready to go. You're like yeah. she was sick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's something. fun. I recommend it to all you people <laughs> listening at home. Uh, yeah. You gotta you're get like a car. something something fell in her pussy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> she sat on something yeah. hot. You just peel out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She spilt a bunch of Damn. jizz all over. Dude, her. you got like uh you got like Asian energy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Asian energy, huh? That's good energy. Like you look like uh you look like super mature, but like you definitely do like crazy shit, dude. I mean, you know, I definitely have a because that's uh, the definition of like crazy shit, you know. Yeah, it's not the smartest thing I've ever done, but uh, I I I'm I assess risk. Yeah, I still I'm not like fuck man. I gotta try that one day. One day, <laughs> yeah, it's a fun. I like I don't I wouldn't say that I'm an exhibitionist. I don't like people actually watching per yeah. se, but I like the thrill of dude, being I can't caught. Even imagine, <clears throat> dude, the emotional roller coaster that must be. Yeah. It's not it's not as emotional as you'd think. Uh for me. <laughs> Maybe for her, but um they've all usually been on board. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a little it's fine. Yeah. This will be fun. Yeah, you're you just cr- you're crying, dude. Yeah. Thinking about your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I need this. It has to be ninety five. Uh yeah. Yeah, well dude, like uh, a big thing that's happening like <clears throat> over the past year is like people on the highway who are like pulled over mm. are getting fucking leveled. Really? By like drunk drivers. Wow. <laughs> well, I might be retiring from this kink that I have. <laughs> but uh yeah, no, I, I definitely know that that is a risk. I just feel like the probability that somebody won't <laughs> just veer off going straight down a highway. I think you have a yeah. A better chance getting hit like on a how hard would street. you laugh if I if you saw me on like the news <laughs> and it was just me banging a fatty on the side <laughs> of the highway and a drunk driver just leveling me, dude? <laughs> I would feel terrible because, like, dude, that yeah. would be on you, man. Yeah, that I influenced yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, he died doing what he loved. I mean, dude, that would be a good way to go out, dude. He died doing what his podcast guest loved. Yeah. He listened to his influencers, dude, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. But he did want to go when he was 18, so mm. I, I think he got... You saved me either way, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your life I had was more sex, fruitful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had sex in the middle of uh, the road. Yeah. Uh, oh, the middle of the road. Yeah, this was in college on Robinson Street. Just Good like street. right in the middle of a residential street. Like a neighborhood street. Yeah. <laughs> like suburban. Yep. Just like a, imagine like a suburban neighborhood and then you, me. In, in a car middle. or on the street? <clears throat> nope. Just, just me and her, dude. Just bent her over right in the middle of like a, wow. a four-way intersection, dude. And a four-way. Wow. You like rip. to shit in between four apartments. You like to fuck in the middle of a yeah, four-way man. intersection. There's got to it's You're that, quite yeah. an exhibitionist. Yeah. It's got to be that way, dude. Wow. That's huge. That was it, man. No cars came down the road? What's your play? If a car came, was what was your script? If a car came, yeah, what were you gonna say? Back then, I don't think I would have stopped. No, no, because I was like kind of reckless. Wow. Nowadays, I'd probably fucking throw her into a bush and run yeah. away, dude. I'm like, I'm not getting in trouble for this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's weird because it's like not it's it's a human thing that we do, just like peeing in public. I, it's weird that. I mean, I have a bit about it in my special. I say, like, I peed in public one time, but, like, it's not the pee. It's it's the indecent exposure that's illegal. It's not the act of urinating. Dude. So, like, you just got to pee your pants in public. As a legal. man, though, like, as a horny man. Yeah. I don't know if any dudes feel this way. <clears throat> I, dude, if I'm with a chick that I'm attracted to. Right. I am always thinking about having sex with her in public. Like, mm. not... In like at like the doctor's office or something like that, right. but like if we're doing like, have you ever like hung out with a girl at the beach, dude? Yeah, and yeah. you're just like, you want to go right now? Yeah, yeah. That's I feel like mm. that's a normal thing. Like I've been on a hike with a woman and been like, do you want to just? Oh, totally. Make love in the woods. Yeah, and it's it's always weird when they can they think that's like so out of pocket. I'm like, yeah. really? You're a human being. You didn't. This yeah. didn't cross your mind at all. Yeah. You know, I wonder if it does or it's just like it's got to. I think it's just they want us to initiate it. <laughs> they want us to ask. They want us. Yeah. They want to turn us down. Yeah. You know, or accept. I've done that's how they get pleasured realistically by like turning us down. Yeah, I think the sociopaths. Yeah, but as a, as a horny dude, I feel like that comes up a lot. You know, like yeah. especially hiking, dude. Dude, once you get to the peak of the mountain and you're on the way down, it's like, yeah, what better to do now than just let it rip. 
Yeah. No, you just want that release at the peak. That summit. <laughs> That's what I said to her. That summit nut. <laughs> it's like, it's families around. Yeah. Yeah. You still got boys, though, that you still got boys that you're hanging out with that you've been boys with for a long time. Yeah, I mean, my childhood friends, they're still, uh, they're, we're still tight, but like, when you're, you know, if you're a comic, you understand that like, now your brain's, like, I can really only have like, intellectual conversations with my comic friends, because we're yeah. like, for the most part, all on the same page, but like, yeah, you know, the friends I grew up with, I, I still love them to death, but um, they're all, they all have their own lives, they, you know, their priorities are in order, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's something I'm struggling with. So I was just wondering. Yeah, no, it feels it, like everyone's like in a relationship and they got their 401k stacked, and I'm just like, no, I don't. I don't have a 4. I have a Roth IRA. You know, about that's these. good shit, man. Yeah, yeah, that's after tax money, dude. Yeah, well, I do it like I get taxed now, and then when I yeah, yeah, yeah. take it out later, it's tax free. But yeah, that's the only thing. I mean, now that I have a kid, I feel like I have to start doing all these things. Yeah, which um, I'm trying to slowly but surely. Mm. You know, I get a lot of like hateful comments. About like being a child and stuff, you know. Yeah, but I I don't see why that's your that's your thing. They shouldn't judge your yeah. You know yeah, whatever it's just you hard find. to be yourself, man. Around here, you know what I mean. Like just yeah. be comfortable in your own skin, right? Just be like full bore retarded, and it's yeah. okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you read the comments? I feel like that's no good. I am uh, unfortunately I'm, yes. I'm reading comments on every comment on my YouTube special. So. It's been very good. The, a lot of them are good. There's some negative ones, but the mm. negative ones are like. Did you look uh, at the profile of the negative comments? Yeah, I look at the profile and yeah. it's like they got, you know, it's like a picture of a cat or something or a, a car. Yeah. And it's like they got no subscribe. Not that, you know, I got virtually no subscribers either, but like, uh, I don't, you don't take it seriously. I don't even interact with them. I kind of just laugh and I'm like, I think oh, I'm upset with myself for reading. The comments. I know. They say don't, but you also want that dopamine rush of seeing the good ones too. So you gotta weed through yeah. some of the bad ones. But it's like, you know, you know, nine out of ten, probably a, a bigger percentage are better comments than negative ones. But yeah, and you also see like uh <clears throat> I'll see people who are like very funny. Yeah. Put up like viral clips. That's what I'm saying. You could be Richard Pryor and somebody's gonna be like, This yeah. is bullshit. This sucks. This is the worst. You know, somebody's gonna say it. I think you just gotta hope that like the majority of people have like a positive outlook towards it. Mm hmm I think at the end of the day it's kind of just like knowing what a joke is. You know what I mean? Right. It's dude, it's so wild how people think like we're being serious. It's crazy. My opening joke is like about the punchline is like about like I say gluten free bitch or whatever, right? And I'm like being ironic, but it's clearly a joke. And somebody comments like, "My nephew has celiac disease, and I, I think it's kind of low, kind of lame that you would would punch down on somebody with this disease. Yeah. He can't, you know, he can't have bread without going." And I wanted to be like, "Sir, I do not know wheat you are talking about." And uh, that's a dumb pun, but I, I didn't comment that, but I will. <laughs> I'm on a right roll. Right after this, dude, you're in the car. You're like, oh, I know. Yeah. I'm thinking of all these weak yeah. gluten puns. But uh, I, wa I want to comment that, but it's because it's a negative comment. I, I don't want to engage with this person. But I want to yeah. like be like, fucking idiot. It's a joke. Yeah, I'm not talking the, about uh, your nephew, idiot. Yeah, that'll be the end, man. Yeah. <clears throat> if you do respond to the negative. Because then it doesn't stop. Because nobody, when somebody like, there's no reasoning with somebody that's like behind their computer screen. Well, that's what they want. They want you to respond. Yeah, it's like the yeah. it's like the guys jerking off in public. Like the yeah, they want you to look at them. Like even if you're yeah. traumatized by it, they get off on the fact that you're looking and traumatized. Like these women yeah. that are looking. Um, but I don't know. I think it's just the negativity that sucks. You know. Yeah. It's like why are people so fucking negative? You know. Yeah. So if you're out there, leave a nice comment. Leave it. Leave a paragraph on dude, why. Just, just on do why yourself you enjoy. a favor and just yeah. leave a positive comment for once, dude. You know? Yeah, that we will respond to. And and never forget it, and it will prevent us from ending things prematurely. It will do that. Positive comment can go a long way, man. It does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, leave a fucking positive comment on Doug's new special, dude. Yes, and, and watch this it. Podcast and this podcast. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe, dude. Yeah. Yeah, man. I know we didn't talk about the special much, man, but yeah, yeah, it's on YouTube. Mother of the Year on uh, on YouTube. On um, and you filmed it at the Comedy Connection in Rhode Island, yeah. which is. The homeland. Yep, my home club, Providence uh, <clears throat> Comedy Connection. Um, it was it was before they renovated it, 
So I'm the only person that's <laughs> ever got has a special in the original room now. Yeah. I, that's how I'm looking at it. Yeah, you know, you're the last. I could have been pissed dude. and been like, "Damn it, they just made like a beautiful new stage." But yeah, so it's the original room with kind of the ugly backdrop. But uh, <laughs> I'm uh, I started there 13 years ago, yeah. and um, I'm I'm glad that they helped produce it. And, and yeah, uh, I mean, dude, it's crazy, man, to have known you since I was 20. Yeah, yeah <clears> met you, you outside of a shitter. Now we're doing a podcast <laughs> together, dude, and you have a special, man. It's kind of like... Yeah, full fucking, circle. Fucking, you know... No, I'm glad. I'm glad. Thanks dude. for having me. Congrats on, you know, the success of this. You're a funny guy, and I hope uh, I can come back as a guest in the future. Yeah, dude, I'll always be here, man. Maybe next time vacuum all the dog hair off the... <laughs> dude, <fuck> off the 